back with another review. This is by Otre, one of their Fab and Fly 100% unprocessed human hair. I reviewed a couple of these wigs before. I think it was late last year or was it this year? I think it was sometime last year. I reviewed a couple of them. But I have this one here. She's called HH Georgia and HH stands for human hair. I have her in the color natural brown. And guys, these were the styles that we got like with the Fab and Fly collection. They're all pretty similar style. Like they're short, they're human here, all human here. They're short and they have like either a little bit of curl to it or something like that. It's all like very similar in style. But guys, let's get straight into this, okay? The first thing I want to talk about is a con. My first con with this wig is that it sheds so much. You guys saw I was finger combing it. I combed it out up front. Once you run your fingers through it, you will get a lot of shedding. I don't really like how the shedding was coming out. It was, I don't know, it's just weird and it's just all over your hands. So keep in mind that you will get a lot of shedding. Please keep in mind, okay? If you don't mind that, then it's fine. Because once you finish, like, once you finish, like, your initial comb out and brush out, the shedding will stop. So, well, it stopped for now. I'm not sure how long it's going to last for, but it will stop. I think it's just the initial, you know, comb out or brush out. You will get a lot of shedding. So, that's my major concern about this. The only, the next thing is that um, I wish that it had a little bit more thickness to the, towards the ends of it. And when I say that, I mean towards, like, this, the ends right here. It seems to me like the roots has a lot of hair. Like, it's really thick at the roots. But when it comes out to the ends, it's a little bit, you know not as much okay i know i did spray water on this this is not a wet and wavy by the way but i know it's it's human hair and once you spray water on human hair or you add some curly mousse it tends to activate the curls a little bit more so that's what i did with that because i did comb out comb out the um the curls up front so of course it was looking a little bit frizzy and dry and just stuck up like because it's short so it was just sticking up so I added some water just to define the curl some more and to like bring it down and stuff like that but guys yeah I just think that even without me adding the water I think the ends was a little bit thinner than the roots it just seems like the roots is like way thicker so it kind of looks like a helmet in a sense you get what I'm saying hopefully you get what I'm saying but anyway apart from that the texture of the hair is amazing I love the soft texture it's easy to style in terms of just spraying water into it or you can just add some curling mousse into it I did trim some off of it but it was only at the front so that's easy to style for anybody because you can see the the front so you can definitely just you know trim where you need to trim and you know just make the bangs however you want it but I love the fact that the bangs are not too thin so the bangs actually look pretty good it's thick enough it's not too thick but it's thick enough okay and this comes with a regular crown closure up here so it's a full wig it's no lace front or anything the cap you get one comb up front one at the back and the adjustable straps and the rest of the cap is a stretchable mesh net material so it's definitely big head friendly it fits really comfortable and all that and guys I will be link this in the description box down below just in case you want to go purchase it you want to try it out of course you don't have to wear it wet down like this once you wet it and you style it when for example when you buy it you can take it out put it on your head you know wet it style it how you might like it make sure to add some anti frizz oil some lightweight oil something that wouldn't make it um get puffy once it's dried and once you style it you can leave it on a mannequin head let it air dry until you're ready to wear it so when you're ready to wear it it will have have a little bit more volume to it or you'll be able to fluff it up a little bit without you know really disturbing the curls too much so it doesn't look crazy but I'm just reviewing it like this because I'm you know I'm wetting it now I'm reviewing it now but so that's why it looks a little bit down but if you prefer like a bigger look for example the way it looks on the stock card right here you can definitely just style it and then leave it to dry and I think you'll get it to look big like this but guys as you can see on the stock card it says here that you can bleach dye and customize this so this is an unprocessed human hair like I mentioned up front so you can bleach it you can change the color and stuff like that if you want to now thank you so much for watching I'll leave the colors down below natural black natural brown but I'll leave it down below and I'll leave a link for you guys to purchase like I said um, thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this here down below and I'll see you guys in my next review bye